Hey everyone, this is the Geeky Panda here on the Geeky Panda Blob Running Guys with another video. This time, Black Ops 2 gun game, but funny match of me and three other friends just using knives only, and we just trolling the shit out of the other people. Now, in this week's episode of, or this week, or what this or today's episode, I should say, of Guide to an Anime Con, I'm going to be talking about registration. Yes, registration. That includes getting a badge. Now, we all know that regardless of the convention, whether it be anime, video games, sci-fi, etc., etc., you're going to need to pay a, a, to pay a small fee and, and for a badge. And then, you know, it's basically uh, the golden ticket to Willy Wonka's factory. You have so much content that will be offered to you if you buy a badge. And it, is, and it is the only way to get in in most cases. Now... What do you need to do? What do you need when you when you um, picking up your badge or when you're getting you know when you're getting your badge? Well, you're going to need a valid ID. This includes, but not limited to, and do note a valid ID means your date of birth, a picture, and a, f a photo ID, basically. So now the IDs are lim are include, but not limited to state IDs, driver licenses, military IDs. Passports, etc. As long as it is a valid form of ID, you should be fine. Now, do note if you are underage, or I believe around the age of 13 and below, it might be different for each con. You need to have a parent or legal guardian there with you to help register you in. You know, this is all. You know, it's just this is basically standard stuff. So, also do note your ID has to be valid, not only with the name, date of birth, and uh, photo of yourself, but also it must not be expired. Expired IDs will not be accepted. That is a state and federal regulation right there. That is a rule, you know. Like if you're going if you're going to buy cigarettes and you're 18 years old, but your ID's not expired, they will not take it, and you will not get your cigarettes. It is that easy. So after that, basically, you have two ways to get your badge. One way is at the door. The other is pre-reg. Now. Pre-reg is the best way to get the best way to get into an anim, uh, to get your badge. Of course, you know pre-reg or pre-registration. You're basically reserving your badge early. Now there are a variety of reasons why to do this, and everyone should do this because it is literally the mo the best bang for the buck scenario. First off, cheaper prices. Depending on the time frame to the con, the convention staff will enable you to pre-reg, of course, but the earliest will receive the better deal. Like, let's take it for instance, OhioCon. OhioCon right now, if you pre-reg, is at $40. Yes, $40 for a weekend pass. After that, it goes up to like 45 and then 50 and then the final price is like 55 So it basically goes in stages. I always recommend pre-regging as soon as possible. Sometimes conventions will start pre-reg on, on the last day, which is a Sunday. And, it, and, that, and that day might be like the really cheapest day. Like I've heard conventions do that for like 20 bucks, and I'm like, damn. The other cool thing about it is that the lines, there is little to no waiting. The reason why lines are so long and it takes a while to get through is because of the registration of getting your, uh, putting in your information. With this, you're just, all they have to do is look up your information real quick, verify it with an ID, and that's it. You get your badge. It is, you know, I, you know the last thing is basically it's fast and easy. It's the most convenient way. You don't have to, you know, it's the cheapest way. It just works, you know. This is, everyone should do this. Now, there is another way to register, which is at the door. If you fail to pre-register, at the door is there. Do know that the lines are longer, and you have to wait as long because, you're, you know, people are registering, you know, the whole information, all that stuff. You're going to get the maximum pricing, and you're going to wait in line a lot. Yes, a lot. So, at the door is really no way to do it. Especially when it's like rush hour, when people are out of, got out of work or school, and they go to the convention. It's, you're gonna wait a while. Now, for pre-reg, they do, pre -reg, the payments they will accept may vary depending on con. Usually, the best thing that the conventions off uh, use is PayPal, credit card. Sometimes they might do a mail-in order check, but that is one way to do it. And of course, if you're at the door, you have the option of you know. Credit card, debit card, or cash, or I believe check, but you know, don't quote me on that. It depends. So, basically, that's it. That's uh, two ways to get a badge. Now, you're thinking to yourself, do I want to go for a weekend badge, or do I want to go separate days? Oh, I always recommend getting a weekend badge because it is, again, the best bang for the buck. It is the cheapest. It is the you know, if you go individual days, 
you know, it's going to be more expensive than a weekend badge, so I recommend getting a weekend badge unless you're only going for one day. Then, uh, then yes, I can say just pre-reg even for the one day or get the one day pass. You know, it works. Again, you know, the benefits for having a badge, again, it is always good to have a badge on you. You, get to, you know, you get to experience more out of a convention. I understand people like to go in without a badge, but you're so limited to what you do at a convention. With a badge, you get to do everything and anything. Go to the panels, go to the events, you know, go to the dealer's room, check it out. Like, I know some conventions, you cannot get into the convention center without a badge. And, you know, you know but it's just, again, buy a badge. If you, you remember this when you're buying a badge you're supporting the in, you know the anime industry by helping to support this anime convention so they can keep doing it every year you know there have been people who use fake badges their friends badges and all that stuff again buy your badge help support the industry help support our fandom by supporting the anime conventions themselves so this is the best way to do it so Yep, that's about it. That's all I have to say about registration. Why? You know, I hope these tips will help you folks out, uh, Congoers out there well. You know, of course, you can look at my past content for Guide to Anime Con videos and watch up for my next video for Guide to an Anime Con here. So this is Geeky Band here on the Geeky Panda blog signing out. And remember, stay geeky, my friends.